There's one thing you should know about me. I specialize in a very specific type of security. Subconscious security. You're talking about dreams? About 10 years ago, I fixed on the idea of a, a heist film set inside somebody's subconscious. I thought it would be an exciting way to, to open up that world for the audience. When Chris Nolan calls you up and says, look, I want to do a film that delves into the dreamscape, that delves into four different stages of the human subconscious, that is existential at times, it's cerebral, surreal, and I want to do it on a grand Hollywood scale, you say, okay, where do I sign? I want to be a part of that project. Christopher Nolan, he's a great friend, and I've done three pictures with him and he didn't have a leading part for me in this movie he said it's three days do you want to do it and I said yeah for you I'll do it and I think he's one of the, the greatest directors around at the moment so he just called me up and uh, I was like yeah Chris yes before you even ask <laughs> I'm in I, he's one of my favorites going today and, and so to actually be in a movie of his is, is uh, just really exciting he has a great imagination and he sometimes mad <laughs> and then, then to have the possibility to be in one of his films and then read a screenplay that was so unbelievably original. And it's an amazing experience to be part of a project that is so original. What looked like it could be very complicated at first turned out to be a, a wonderfully uh, therapeutic uh, experience for me. With a lot of visionary directors that I've been blessed to be able to work with in my career, they do incredibly incredible amount of preparation beforehand. So when they're on set, they know exactly what they want to put on camera. I really want audiences to be entertained first and foremost. I really want them to have a great time watching the movie. Uh, and then if there are a few ideas that rattle around or resonate beyond that, that'd be great.